Jonathan here. Welcome to another daily coaching video. Today is Saturday, April 25th. Hopefully you're having an awesome weekend. Either way, whether you are or you aren't, you can either turn that around or make it that much better of a weekend by nailing your Saturday no excuses workout. Strength training using body weight, quick and to the point. You have four coaches on energyup.co to choose from live today, or you can join myself or one of the other coaches on recording. So pick a coach, pick a time, expect to feel 10 times better, and then get after it, okay? Today's focus is on the fact that it's the way you play, it's the way you show up that matters in life. A lot of times we get stuck looking at the results and whether we drop the weight or whether we drop the inches or whether we finish the 5K or these you know, numbers or things we're pursuing, we get too caught up in those. It's really about how do you show up? How do you play and are you trying your best? Now, I was blessed in high school. I was a soccer player. That was my favorite sport. I played a couple sports, but soccer was my thing. So my sophomore year in high school, I was blessed to be the captain of the varsity soccer team and also to be the starting goalie. Now the challenge was I was very small. I was about a foot smaller than everyone else. I weighed less than 100 pounds. I was 4'10 when I was a freshman in high school. So my sophomore year I was probably five, five feet, 100 pounds. And I was playing goalie for the varsity soccer team and we had a very bumpy year. Now we were playing Duxbury, our main rival that was incredible. They had won numerous state championships and I was the goalie and we were playing them and it was kind of turning out like soccer practice. They were shooting at me a lot, but I didn't keep track of the score. I kept trying to lead my team. I would call out who's covering who on defense I was loud calling keeper on the on quarter kicks. I played as if we had a chance to win until the last minute, the last second of the game. Now after the game, the Duxbury coach, who had been the coach for 25 years, he came up to me and he said to me, that was the best goalie, goaltending I've ever seen in my career of watching high school soccer. He said, you deserve to make all conference. I know your team's struggling. That was remarkable. And as I looked at the stats later that day, I realized we lost the game 6-0, but I had faced 52 shots. So I saved 46 shots that day. And the coach from Duxbury did promote me and did push, and I was named all conference as a sophomore, even though as a team we were four and 12, but we were winners because we showed up and we worked hard and we never quit and we played until the last second. If you are having a bumpy go in the CV Ironman, just simply do the best you can. The score, the outcome, the, you know, your challenges, maybe you're having some bumpy goes occasionally with your kids or with your coworkers, other things, those things are gonna happen. But at the end of the day, you wanna be able to look in the mirror, look yourself in the mirror with pride and say, you know what? Maybe I didn't nail it today, but man, did I try my best. I, sh I tried to save everything and I was in the game until the last minute. And if you do that, when we all finish this, finish this CV Ironman and we cross the finish line, which we are all going to do, we will be better versions of ourselves than when we started this endurance event. I want you to think about this concept after you absolutely pulverize your Saturday No Excuses workout. Then tonight, stay on top of the win tomorrow checklist, and I will see you on Sunday morning.